The waves of feminism are a bit like Galaga. You get a bunch of targets, you have a chance to hit, but you probably won't get them all. So you have to keep shooting at the ones you missed while another wave descends on you. The defining issue of first wave feminism was the right for women to vote, also known as voting franchise or suffrage. Though first wave feminism in retrospect seems the most cut and dried, that's just the mists of time creating an illusion. It had many internal conflicts and many at the time saw it as a wretched hive of radicals, some violent. Women such as Christine de Pizan has been writing about womanhood since the 15th century. One could even claim that this tradition goes all the way back to the ancient Greek poet Sappho. But a few women writing in isolation centuries apart can't be said to be a movement. We have millennia of writing produced by men and for men and a much shorter fragmented history of well-circulated writing of women. All monotheistic religious texts are written not just by men, but for men, which is why there are all the references to lying with thy neighbor's wife and men lying with men, and yet there are no direct prohibitions against women lying with women. Women in those societies were treated as the property of the men in their lives. They couldn't own land, couldn't vote, and couldn't provide for their children on their own through socially acceptable means. They didn't, quote, need rules and laws because the rules were whatever the dominant man said they were. This is the patriarchy that feminists talk about that makes people cringe.